What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Blu-ray Bandit. It's mail call day here at the hideout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for your best shot at a free digital code. Let's see what the postman brought us. All right, it's mail day here at the hideout. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I typically do pawn shop hauls, thrift store finds, eBay lots, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. My process is to buy a bunch of titles, keep the ones I want, sell the ones I don't want, and use the proceeds to buy titles that are harder to find within those buying situations. What you're looking at right now is the last week or so of buying the titles I actually want at market value, whatever that ends up being. Let's see what I got. First up, we got a package here. This package is actually from Best Buy. Best Buy ran a sale around Prime Day, I'm guessing to compete with Prime Day, and I picked up a couple of titles. Let's see what's in this one. All right, in this one, we've got two titles. It looks like we've got Sweeney Todd. This is the Tim Burton film. Sweeney Todd, I'm trying to collect all of the Tim Burton films, and uh, Sweeney Todd is not a title that I have ever seen in a pawn shop or thrift store. For some reason, I guess it just did not sell on Blu-ray. I enjoy this film. Uh, it's Tim Burton's only musical, I believe, and um, you know Johnny Depp, Tim Burton, you can rarely go wrong. There are certainly titles that I prefer more uh, with that pairing, such as... Edward Scissorhands, just off the top of my head. I uh, don't love the Alice in Wonderland Tim Burton movies, but Sweeney Todd's a good one, and I'm excited to add it to the collection. Next up, again from Best Buy, is Whiplash. So this is a movie that I already own on Blu-ray. I purchased it at a pawn shop for probably between 2 or $3. I love the film Whiplash, and when I saw on Best Buy, they were running Whiplash Steelbook for $6.38. I took the leap and grabbed it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Probably just put it on my shelf, unwrapped for now. And if I have the motivation to give it a watch, I will do that. And if it goes up in value, I will probably eventually sell it. Who knows? We'll see. I do want to get the Whiplash version in 4K. So maybe at some point I will sell this in order to pay for that. But for now, it'll probably just sit on my shelf. Whiplash. Next up, another package from Best Buy. This was a part of the same sale. Let's see what I got. Here we go. Dunkirk. This is Dunkirk on uh, Blu-ray, which I do not have. But it's also the Steelbook of Dunkirk, another title that I did not pay much for. I believe this was $4.99. I think Best Buy is just starting to blow through some of their exclusive stock. And since this was exclusive to them, they discounted it because I'm guessing they have too many of them. But uh, I needed Dunkirk on Blu-ray. I'm a big Christopher Nolan fan, and I have most of his movies on Blu-ray, but this was one that I had not picked up yet, and I'm really excited to own the Steelbook of Dunkirk. In the same package was Gremlins 4K. You can't really see it because of the sticker, but brand new Gremlins 4K as a Steelbook. So this is my first 4K Steelbook. I'm just starting to collect 4K titles using the proceeds of, t of normal Blu-rays that I find in pawn shops, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I paid... $13.84 for this title. I love Gremlins. I plan on leaving this on my shelf. Gremlins 4K. Super excited to add this to the collection. Up next, we got a package from eBay. This one is from Pentra Norton, Pennsylvania. Not quite sure where that is. I mean, I know where Pennsylvania is, but I don't know where Pentra Norton is. Let's see what's in this package. All right, here we go. There's a couple in here. Good packaging. I mean, they actually put it in a little baggie here. Not bad. Uh, let's see if I can open it. 
Oh, maybe it was already open. There we go. All right. What do we got? Oh, I remember this. Super excited about both of these titles. You've got Magnolia. Magnolia is a Paul Thomas Anderson film. I'm trying to collect all of Paul Thomas Anderson's films. A good deal of them are hard to find in my typical hunting spots, that being pawn shops, thrift stores, etc. You can certainly find them on eBay as single titles, but it's hard to find them in lots. I think because Paul Thomas Anderson, I think less of the general public buy his movies, only collectors buy them, and so they're less likely to part with them so easy to a pawn shop or a thrift store. Magnolia, excited to add this Paul Thomas Anderson film to the collection. In the same package, we've got The Tree of Life, starring Brad Pitt and Sean Penn. I appreciate this movie. I wouldn't say I love it, but I respect it. It's kind of long. It's a little meandering, but it has a lot to say, maybe. I don't know. It's an odd one. It's a Terrence Malick film. I generally enjoy his films, even if uh, they aren't always 100% for me. The movie's quite a bit more about cinematography than it is about plot, so be ready for that. I'm excited to add this prestige film to the collection, The Tree of Life. Another package from eBay. This one's from Andrew in Ventura, California. And this one's interesting. You get enough packages, you see a lot of things. Uh, I see this quite often. This package it has been recycled. You can see there's like what looks like a little bit of damage to the packaging itself. And it's obviously been cut at one point. This does not bother me at all. I do this all the time when I send people packages. There's no reason why bubble mailers should only be used once. He sealed it up appropriately with tape, so it's still relatively waterproof. Love it. I'm not sure everyone would love getting a package like this, but I don't mind one bit. Let's see what's inside of it. Inside, we've got Obvious Child. So this is an A24 movie, which is, if you don't know, a, an independent film studio that's released a ton of great movies in the last 10 years or so. I enjoy this film quite a bit. I've only seen it once when it originally came out. It stars Jenny Slate and a bunch of other people that you'll probably recognize, but maybe don't star in their own films. I enjoy it quite a bit. You should definitely check it out. It's a comedy drama. I think there's a little more comedy than there is drama, but it, it's a good one. Definitely can't wait to add that. Oh, hello. With digital code for Obvious Child. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to collect all of the A24 movies. I believe I'm maybe 60 or 65% there, but I did not have this one. And this one is a movie you will almost guaranteed never find in a pawn shop or a thrift store. So I had to resort to eBay. I paid $9.30 for it, shipped, and I'm happy to do it to add it to the collection, Obvious Child. Next up, this huge package. You obviously know where this came from. Let's see what's inside. All right, this is the brand new Kevin Smith triple feature collection. So I say brand new, I mean brand new as in unopened. This set actually has existed for a while. It's just been completely out of print and it was not cheap on eBay. I don't remember what people were selling it at, but it was out of my price range. I actually already have Chasing Amy and Clerks on Blu-ray, but because this was running at $15.96 shipped on Amazon, I went ahead and bought it and resold my Chasing Amy and my Clerks, which went for over $20 combined. So I've basically already paid this back. I saved a little shelf space and I gained Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Now, what I don't have are the out of print original Chasing Amy and Clerks titles but I don't really care about that. I'm more interested in saving space and gaining more titles. So excited to add this one to the collection. It's basically already been paid for. Next up, another Amazon package. Let's see what's in this one. It's a big box for what is essentially just one title, but uh, you know, Amazon do what Amazon gonna do. It is Schindler's List on 4K. I enjoy Schindler's List. If you've watched my previous mail call, you saw that I got a Digibook version of Schindler's List, but I wasn't super excited about the condition it came in, and I also don't 
love digi books because they stick out on the shelf, which is a silly reason not to like them, but I it bothers me. I like things to be nice and uniform. And since the point of having a collection is to put things on your shelf that will collect dust, I like those dust collectors to look as good as possible. I also like my movies to look as good as possible. So since this was running on Amazon for a total of $12.77, shipped. I jumped at the opportunity. Having watched the cost of Schindler's List on eBay on 4K for quite a while, and these regularly sell on eBay for upwards of $25 to $35. And so I don't know if they just came back in stock or why Amazon was dumping them at $12.77, but regardless, I jumped at the opportunity and will be reselling my digi book. If you've watched my other videos, you know I'm collecting all the Spielberg movies. So I am now going to re-add Schindler's List to my Spielberg collection. Final package. This one's from eBay from Artur in Los Angeles, California. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Super excited about it. Let's see what it is. Here we go. This is The Fits on Blu-ray. Ooh. It looks like the box is a little mangled, but uh, this is an oscilloscope release. This is hard to find and fairly expensive in most places. I paid $22.99 for me, which is kind of painful to say out loud because I don't like paying a lot of money for Blu-rays, but this movie is worth it. If you have not seen The Fits, you should definitely check it out. It's directed by Anna Rose Homer. This is the only film she's directed so far. I can't wait to see what she comes out with next. The basic premise is there's this little girl. She is going to a community center after her grade school, and she doesn't quite fit in with the other girls. She boxes with her brother at this community center, and she starts to see these other girls her age joining like a dance squad. And so she decides she'd rather do that. And so she starts dancing. And then one of the girls on the dance squad kind of gets a mysterious illness and the illness kind of catches throughout the dance squad. And that's all I'm going to say about the movie. You should definitely check it out, especially if you like mystery films, esoteric films, films with non-actors uh, that are really well made. Definitely worth a poke for the fits. Don't love the condition of this outer box, although it feels like, like I don't know how this is packaged. It's weird. Let's open it. I'm going to open this right now because there's not a chance I'm reselling it because it will probably never come out on 4K it, and I will be keeping this for the lifetime of my Blu-ray collection. Might as well open it. I also might actually just watch it this afternoon. I typically, when things come in like this, I wonder if they are actually like legitimate, but I believe this is, I think it's just kind of banged up. This is interesting packaging. Um, no, I don't believe I have bought any other oscilloscope releases. So I don't know if this is typical of their releases. I don't love the cardboard packaging. But this is the only way to get the fits on Blu-ray. For $22.99, I would have liked if it was not crushed like this. It definitely wasn't crushed like that in the listing, but I don't care. I'm going to keep it. Maybe I can fix it. We'll see. It will be a nice addition. If you haven't seen the fits, go check it out. All right, that's it for today's mail call. We've got 12 titles here, total of $109.73. That comes out to an average of $9.14 each. We got a couple 4K steelbooks, one normal Blu-ray steelbook, Tim Burton movie, a Paul Thomas Anderson movie, an A24 movie, a Terrence Malick movie, a Schindler's List in 4K, and the movie you got to check out, The Fits. One of my favorite movies, I believe, of 2015. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for your best shot at a free digital code. Fantastic ideas for a fantastic world. I make the illogical logical. We'll see you next time. Until then, bye.